select uh, machine. Okay, uh, the, it's, it's defaulted to the uh, Denford here to my left. But I'm gonna scroll down here to the micro mill here, and it shows the micro mill uh, machine here to the right down here. And let me make sure that it's correct there. Yeah, you see the micro mill uh, machine there, and you select that one. Hit OK here, and it uh, offsets, leave that as it is here. We'll set the offsets here, and then it should download the software. You click on the machine here to the right here. It says erasing whatever program was in there. It's downloading the, uh, the new the program for the machine to the right, and I'm going to uh, select that machine. I made sure that uh, uh, it's on, but I'm going to make sure that uh, has a key. That's a key. You, you have to turn the machine on. Uh, I think it's already it's on, but I'm going to reset right here. And there's a little click sound. So I've turned this machine on. And I'm going to select it here. I'm going to jog the machine now. I mean, I'm going to set the XYZ axis here. If I just click on XYZ, the, the machine should home. Okay, you look over there. You see the mas machine is, is home in there. I can zoom in there. You see it moving there. It's trying to locate its home position. That's the position where the uh, software uh, will designate the uh, machinery where to start. So while that's doing that, I'm going to see if I can locate a program that's already in the system. <clears throat> now let me see. Let me uh, set the offset for the uh, hardware and, and software could uh, synchronize. So I'm going to jog the machine down to the, a point on the material to set the X, Y, Z offsets. So do that. Let me uh, go into the offset. Go back to the software. Right here. It's a, down here at the bottom of the software. There's something it says here camera keeps moving. Offset. Let me go here. Uh, it said tool and offset editor. That's where I am. That's where I am. Where I am located there. But I need to uh, jog the machine to those positions here. Let me go to jog. Jog is a manual. It's a manual movement of the machine here. Up, down, left, and right. And on the keyboard, you have left, right, up, and down arrows here. Where's that at? Where's that at the keyboard? Yeah, okay, somewhere down there. Right there. Right there. Those those positions of the keyboard moves the uh, cutter up, down, left, or right. Let's see if I'm, I'm all right. Make sure you're in jog on the computer up here on the software. And see, oh, I did move it. I did move it. I put it down here. That's down. I mean, that's uh, that's back. You hear the machine? I'll show you that in a minute. The movement here. So if I move these up, down, left, right arrows, the machine will go in those positions. All right, you will see that over here. Let's zoom out here. If I come back in right here, pause that, that, lock it in right here. You watch the movement. If I move these, good thing to hold the keyboard in your hand, and you can see the movement of the uh, cutter. I'm doing this from the keyboard here, moving to the to the right, and moving to the left. Moving uh, for let me see, forward, uh oh, backwards. You can overextend these things and reach a limit and may shut down the program. So don't move these too far to the right or left. Just to give you an idea 
or which way to go, and the, up, the, uh, the cutter to move up and down, you page down, you see, and, and page up, but take it in the reverse direction. Well, I didn't get it there, I don't know why. Well, I did that, I over, uh, timed out, uh, I overseeded the limit of the, it says timeout, I see, let me see if I can undo that, go, uh, jog, let me see if I, okay, I'm back, seeing that's going up, down, so what now I'm going to move the cutter to the upper edge, upper left edge of the material, so it let the program know where to begin. So I'm going to jog the, how about I say jog the robot? Now it is a robot, it's a mechanical cutting system using your designated coordinates that you program it. So it may say a robot, or I'm going to, I'm going to jog the robot. <coughs> I'm going to jog the machinery down. I'm going to set the uh, X, Y, I'm going to set the X, Y, over, I'm coming to the upper corner here, and bring the cutter down and touch the corner here, stop there. Just barely touch that point there. Then go back over to the software. Set that point at X, Y on the offset. Where's my mouse? Oh, drop the mouse here. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, here. Take two people sometimes do this, but okay, I'm gonna go over here to the off back here to my offset, set, set, see, offset here. Over here. Come back over here to my software. Right here. They ask you a question. You want to go ahead and do what you want to do. You do not have permission to write to the file. Any changes will be made will be lost in the next time you start to off it. So run the program in the administrative. File. So we'll just kick OK there. <clears throat> here, I'll uh, see so you have zero, zero, zero on the XY. There's nothing there, so they didn't know where to start. So I'm going to set the cutter to the point in the upper corner. I'm going to hit the X here. I'm going to hit set that as a, a starting point for the X and the Y. And I'm going to see, uh, leave this area for a minute here. Yeah, I'm going to jog the robot upward into the center of the material to put the Z. The, the starting point, which Z is the cutting depth of the uh, page up. They always say go to the center of the material. You can see, you can see here, I'm moving the robot. I mean, not robot, I don't, I don't know why I keep saying robot. But now I'm, I'm moving the uh, cutter to the center of the material to designate the depth of cutting and set the Z offset. Page down. crash the, uh, the cutter into the material. Another way of doing it, I was taught one time, was to take a piece of paper and be able to slide it right up under there and you just you barely get a little friction here. That's a good place right there, okay? You don't want to page down. You can still slide it back and forth there. 
can't pull it out, so that's 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 uh that's too deep. Uh, it's, it's touching, so you don't want to touch it. Go, go up a little bit. Right there is where you want to start the Z depth. It will go down one millimeter. One, I think it's about one millimeter. C minus one, one millimeter down into the material cutting. So I'm going to go back to my offset here. Go back to my offset here and click Z. And you see Z came in down here. All right, and um, those offsets should be stored into the system here forever until you cut off the machine. Okay, so I'm going to home the machine here. All those points, all those points there will be stored as the starting point for any 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 uh material I put in here. So I'm going to home the home the machine home home the machine here. I need to shut the gate. Let me see. Uh, on home, it said I got an error there. So it says error there. Error is because I didn't shut the uh, door. I got an error message there because the uh, I got the uh, I have the thing open over here. So I'm gonna let it down. I'm gonna let this down here. All right, now. <clears throat> All right. And I'm gonna clear that error message out of here. Okay, here. And turn home again. So those points, those points that I stored in the system here, will tell them tell the computer where to start cutting the material uh, the material. You see, it's homing automatically because it has it knows where to start because we set those points. Next thing you do, you want to load a piece of uh, program in there and see if your settings are correct. If will the machine do what you want it to do? So that being done, I'm going to find a program. I'm going to find a program that students have already written here and see if it works based on what you just observed. Next thing you do, I'm going to find the program here, slide this out of the way, file, open, uh, I don't see one, here's the one right here, let me see, we'll try this one right here, open that one. Okay, oh here's one right here. Let me see, here's one right here that's like uh ninety It's one right here. Let's see if this one will work. We cut and pasted this program into the editor here. And uh uh this one used to have a virtual uh uh display, but it doesn't have it. So we ran this one before, I believe. So I'm gonna hit uh stop. The way you run a program here, you make sure uh, you're in auto, okay, and then we hit uh, down here, hit stop, rewind, and go, play. It says you're about to run the machine. <coughs> Do you wish to continue? Are you sure? We want to see if the program works. Here we're going to hit, uh, where is it? Yes. The machine has started. Machine is started over here. You zoom in here. Okay, based on the coordinates that we probe. Okay, I'm gonna leave it right there and see what 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 is what kind of program.
emergency push button right here. If something doesn't go right, you can always hit this emergency push button right here. Good thing to have your to do the initials but this student decided to make him a heart in between his first initial and his second initial and make sure you monitor the cutter here make sure that's a piece of metal right there the machine program it in to go back to zero starting point cut this program off and stop the machine so those last three steps were in in the program uh, return to zero and then cut the machine off and then you can open up the door here and see what it looks like It says T M T love T. Huh. I oh, wouldn't see that there. That's T uh, heart T. And zoom in there. That's what the this is what this program was written to do. And you can see how space uh, equally in the center almost in the, of this piece of stock right here. This is a, a acrylic here. Uh, I will use wood or an acrylic. And it looks pretty nice there. Hope you enjoyed this. This is the, with the Micro Mill 2000. You do the same thing over here with the Compact 1000, uh, but uh, this is initially what we do.